what is up guys so um you guys have been asking for this for a long time so i feel like i get dms pretty much every other day and uh today is the day i boxed all my shoes up i'm not taking like my vans or anything because they're just vans this took a long time to take all my shoes out and box them all up. I do have some vans that are pretty cool, like the ones in this box, but I'm not gonna show you guys. Now, we're gonna go to the shop, load these all in my car. Hopefully it fits, it should fit. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys the prices on the shoes, cause I don't wanna like look douchey or like flex, cause I don't show my shoes off. A lot of people don't even know that I have these. I barely wear my shoes. I just, I like to collect them, especially SBs. SBs and ones, beautiful, beautiful shoe. Big fan of them. I like Egyptian shit. My computer setup, my PC. Need a 3080, just saying. Bunch of old school magazines, stuff, trinkets, this, that. But yeah, there's not really too much to show in my room. What you guys want to see is basically what's in the boxes. Enough of me talking. Let's load this stuff up and bring it to the shop. And it's pouring. This is great. Basically, all of them. Huh. This is a different level. What the fuck? What are we doing? You should have bought a wagon here, buddy. <laughs> These look expensive. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. Need some shoes, man. What size are you? 12, right? Donnie, you know the first step of a, you know the healing process is just admitting. I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> Stick to my dusted vans. I got my red bottoms on, you heard? Looks like a fucking flea market out here. Look at these jump offs. <laughs> look at these jump offs. Why does the E look like a three? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, feels fake to me. Damn. These look expensive. Chicken and waffles. Bullshit, that's chicken and waffle. Yeah, it looks like the chicken. Syrup and then the waffles. These are kind of gas. Yeah, are I'm not a sneaker guy, but these are kind of gas. This is all new to me. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what? There's just a whole different variety. Oh, yeah. We got you don't sleep. I'm so used to just like just one color. J's. Nikes. The Nikes worth. Deej, educate me real quick, right? Okay. So, not being a sneaker guy, okay. I just hear J's. Like, J's are... Jordans. Jordans, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. The Fruit Loop edition, dude. Deej, you have all the colors, dog. So, a lot of people don't really... Like, even you, like, were... Oh, anything about this. I do you, care less about showing You people. have the cool colors. But I like that. ask all the time to see them. So. I feel like sneakers are huge. Yeah. I love sneakers. I just appreciate the fact that you have all these cool color collabs. Like that's dope to see. Versus, I feel like you just see like the the single colors. Just like yeah, just plain Jane. What we got here, dude. You got all the all the flavors, dog. Some off whites. What yeah. the wow! Look at the box. Looks expensive. That's a little. Yeah. Okay, that looks fancy. <laughs> all right, so most all the shoes are unloaded. <sighs> all right, so I'm going through them all, and I'm like, because I forget the names of some of them. You're good. Artie, right, did, you oh. did you order a shipment of shoes? Oh, I thought I was closer <laughs> from the door or farther away. It hit you with the Oh, side. the fucking doorknob, like, got the side of my flubber, <laughs> and then the door hit my back. <laughs> You got it twice. Oh. What do you think of the shoes? Too much? You said your dad collects shoes, right? 
Not like you do. A lot of people won't understand, and I don't expect them to understand. So you but. collect shoes based on like design, value, all that other stuff, like rareness, whatever. Yeah. My yeah. dad has a hoarding problem. Put it like this. For four years, four years, he couldn't buy a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Four years. Yep. On the fourth year, when he finally decided he bought a new pair of shoes. 20 pairs. Something snapped in his brain and he never stopped buying. What pair of shoes do you think you have? Under 80. Under 80? Under At 80. At one point in the spare room at my dad's house, he had 230 pairs of shoes. Nothing like this, but like yeah. anything you could imagine. There, were, If he thought it was cool, he had that shoe. He finding shoes that I didn't even know I had. Tally it up and I might put it in the video roughly how much. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I might, but. I mean, people already know that you got bread. You got two Sylvia's, a Jay-Z mm -hmm. one, and a clean S14. A lot of people don't know why. A, a lot of people don't know of this though, because I don't show my shoes. I just collect them. Yeah. And I'm gonna have Jimmy come on, come in here, and he, I'm gonna have him try to pick the most ex what he thinks is the most expensive one. Which one do you think he's gonna? Well, I'll lay them all out first, and then we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right, so I help me unload and lay all these out and try on every single shoe and tried on he every put shoe every single shoe on which i which shoe. i don't understand because he comes to my house and he's like oh these are new let me try them on i'm like aunt every jordan one every sb every jordan three they all fit the same just for sellers yeah awareness, awareness for buyer's awareness when you go to buy one of these shoes the right they have shoe been worn. The, or the right shoe. The right shoe. The right shoe has been worn by Ant. Every single one of them. And I see him attempting to like walk in them. I'm like, Ant, don't walk in them. Like, I would say. Nah, it's fine. That's what he says. I would say, yeah, he doesn't understand. 80% of my shoes are not worn. Gosh, where do I begin? This is very overwhelming. This took so much. I had, these were all in cases. I have plastic Tupperwares that like have fold out drawers. Had to take them out, find the boxes. I have shoe boxes scattered throughout my house. Find they, they what? It's raining today too, right? And it's raining. These are laid out in not a good way. I figured you were gonna like maybe put them. Line them. Like Nike. I was going to, and then is. Ant started putting them, wearing them, and moving them around. Let's just remember, Ant's still a child, physically and mentally. Oh, Speaking oh, of man. children. I love the colors. Big fan. Of the There's flavors. Right, which one's the most expensive pair? Uh, you pick what you think are the most okay. expensive pair. RJ, I want you to decide too. <laughs> I see, see, it's not the shoe that's expensive; it's the lifestyle that goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when you put these on? I was gonna. You say go to this. the dealer. You get a sixty thousand dollar Corvette, right? You get you buy a four hundred twenty thousand uh, dollar home. We got four kids, that's like $3 million. In a $2,000 grill. In a $2,000 grill. That's what the lifestyle is. Now, if you got those new balances on, you could rock with a simple circle charcoal grill, no problem. All right, so it's... Guessing game. Ant, you're gonna be a part of this. Art is gonna be a part of this. I know these are really expensive, but these are... Beaters. Beaters. Just beaters. Where's the crispy ones? I have the UNCs right there, Okay. but... The Yeezys are expensive, I know that, but I don't think they're that expensive. No, it's probably one of the cheapest shoes here. That, that because from my experience with shoes, I would have expected those to be most expensive. Yeah, because okay. the height. See I'm how little say... I know? Oh, I don't, I don't fucking know. These look expensive as fuck. I know which ones I Those are my first pair of Jordans I ever bought. Oh. In like 2012. Oh wow, so those hold like <laughs> sentimental. Okay, so you've had them for a long time, which means they're probably expensive. This is my um, guess right here. Yeah, those just look the flashiest. I would say the, didn't you just get these to Easter Jones? No, I've had those for a little bit. These look expensive too. And then those. I, I don't fucking know, honestly. Like, yeah. it looks, like, what's the most expensive set here? It's uh, gotta be those. All right, top, top two. Top two? Oh, oh I didn't right even there. see those. These, ching, ching. that's it. Um, oh, I'd say those and a hard second, these. That was looking expensive with the American answers? flag on them. So. What, what about these, like a buck? 1500. 15, yeah. All right. Hmm. You know. And what do you think? The Supreme Vans oh. look pretty dope. Actually, those are up there too. Yeah. I don't yeah know. Like, wow, that's a cool shoe. I don't like, like, I don't care for that stuff. But that's just a dope shoe in general. OG. It'd be a shame if someone just. Yeah, it would be. If you were to pick a shoe right now, which one would it be? Oh, the off whites. Really? The ones? They wouldn't fit your foot. I don't care. Really? <laughs> like he'll the, stuff it like little eighth, eighth grader stuff in her bra. <laughs> he'll, he'll put like a little They're tissue. Hard. You like them? I'm gonna take your chicken and waffle shoes in the center. 
You like those? I do like. I think they're cool. Yeah, they're just hidden. Very dope shoe. The the Shrek SBs. Two hundred. Those? You got the Shrek SBs over there. You don't like those? She just looks like a fucking Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Body was told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. What are these? They look like Shrek. They're Shrek ones. Look at, look at Shrek, Shrek ones right here. You know the opening scene in Shrek when he kicks the door open, yeah. shoes pop out. out no, I don't. I don't. Iconic. That's why that movie's in like the movie hall of fame or some shit. All right, so. I'll run you guys through the shoes quickly. I'm not gonna talk too much about them. Just like kind of show them, not you say know, up. You know. If you know, you know. I'll say the name of the shoe. Are you going through them? Yeah, every single one. It'll be quick. There's only, there's not that many. Yeah, James, should I, should I tally a price at the end, or do you think that's like sus? I don't. I'm not trying to flex. Pain in the ass. No, I already, oh, you you already did it. You should. I already did it. What's I just the number? Calculate it. What's Whoever the gets closest. I don't know. I screenshotted all the stock. Oh, you still got a lot. Whoever gets closest no. gets a price. All yeah. I got to do is calculate it on my What's phone. I have all the yeah. shoes. Okay. Half off. No, I mean it's not sus. It's like one of those things. It's like if you if anyone tallied up how much money they have in their dumbass part like project cars, mm -hmm. even the dumbest of projects. Oh, you would have never believed You would them. never believe how much money is in these stupid you would also cars. Like You'd also, yeah. I tell everyone, do not add as much how much yeah. money you have in a car because it'll, it'll make you hate the thing. Just Forget stop. that little Forget folder that. with all the receipts don't in it. Burn that. Get thing. rid of that. No, no, no. At least with this stuff, I don't think there's anything here you bought that is worth less than when you bought it. No, not one thing here, no. There you go. Investment. Stonks. Stock. Stonks. 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 They're printing more money, but they ain't printing more Supreme Collab <laughs> vans. Maybe they are, but no. you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the, 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 the Chinese definitely do. They be doing that. All right. So, we're going to run through them quickly. I'm not going to talk too much about them. If you know about them, you know about them. If you don't, I'll tell you the name. You can look them up and do what you please with it. So, we'll start with my personal favorite, and that is SBs. So, I'll start from... I guess my favorite. These, the nasty boys, brand new DS, never worn. Clean shoe, very dope shoe. They got like copyrighted for these because they didn't get a license to make the shoe. All Hallows Eve, Halloween SBs. With a little slime on the swoosh. I don't know if you could see that. The insoles are pumpkin guts. The toe is a jack o' lantern. All these fucking things? No, quick. These truckets, very dope. Truckets. Cream colorway. Big fan of those. His feet are too stinky to be wearing those things. <laughs> he tried on every one. Already, yeah, because already he good. Has, he has a size that fits all these. Because I feel like they're all size 9 and 10s, right? Like yeah, F1 yeah damn there. near. Damn near. You get a little baby. What are they? He's a size eight, I think. What? What are they? The aftermarket shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean aftermarket? He said the aftermarket shoes, like. <laughs> That's what I don't know. Like me, aftermarket shoes. These. You could call them that. Medicon. These bear are bricks. Hard. Little bear bricks. What are those for? Um, something light, actually. Four. More than you could afford, pal. Something light. Four. It's like completely fur throughout the whole shoe. A lot of people probably don't like that, oh, but yes. they're sick. The Laker Johns. These. Yes, tell me about those. He wants these. Ant wants these. I didn't look too. them up though. <clears throat> Jordan 5s. I don't know the name of them because I don't wear 5s, but I appreciate these, but they're not my style. As you can see, Ant wore these ones. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You tried the yellow one on. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, SB Chicken and Waffles. It's got they go hard. syrup on the swoosh. The and the drip. waffle is the whole shoe. Get it? Chicken and waffle. How much you all face Top favorite. Off-white dunks, very dope shoe. This is like the first shoe that I actually hit Michigan's. on sneakers. So what classifies Michi an off-white? Well, the dead, dead giveaway is like the, right the abbreviation on, the on like shoelace or like on these, how it says like so air. So what, what's an off-white? Is it a collab? I'll just explain it. I'm uh, sorry. It's, no, if they want to know too. It's a guy named Virgil Abloh, and he's a designer for Louis Vuitton. Oh, so he does things with Nike stuff. Yeah. Ooh. He collabs. He collabs. And it, off White is like his brand. So, what's the name again? Virgil Abloh. Vir Virgin doesn't fucking sleep. <laughs> he don't sleep. <laughs> he don't sleep. He don't sleep. How much are those on ice? 
That's the most expensive shoe here. I know, but what are those worth on ice? Five. Huh. Bullshit. But I bought them used, so I do. Fuck yeah, good for you. Hell yeah. I buy yeah. those. Love though. that. <laughs> Love that. Those need the rejuvenator. Nah, these are gone. Like, I need to see what they look like with the rejuvenator, though. It's like I don't really care about them. Like, you got a fat scuff here and. Off them. Ah, I'll just rock them. Blue Furies. Very dope shoe. These are still pretty affordable. I think they're only like. Two th change? Under 300, yeah. like 250, two, something like that. But I got these off of StockX because I really like this shoe. They got the icy bottoms. Love that. And I got the dark laces. If I were to run them, I'd probably run dark laces. Dark laces for sure. Community Gardens. Very sick shoe. I've won these in a raffle, both of these. Got lucky because they kind of always been a little expensive. Yeah, they're up there and, now. Uh, not every one shoe is the same. Yeah, I look here. So I'm pretty sure every one is not the, the same. same. Since we're on the doubles, the black Raygons, I don't think these are, I think every one of these is a different as well. A little alien on the back of the sole there. It's got on the tongue, area 58. I don't think that's right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that is. is. 50, I don't know. But. I won these in a raffle too. <laughs> Got lucky there. OGs, the ones that James were making fun of, De La Souls. If you know, you know. Def not my style, but it's a sick shoe. These I got off eBay. I basically got them for free because the guy never, he, the shoe in the description was, they didn't look like this. These are pretty dusted, but it's a shoe I always wanted and I got screwed on it. But I got my money back, so it's good. These are the Northern Lights. The bottoms actually glow in the dark, the green, but they're a little dusted, which is unfortunate because they're super sick. The Olives just got hit these on sneakers. Super lucky. This is a pair on sneakers that I actually got lucky on because I have, I've been taking L after L and this colorway is, it's just, I love the like uh, faded is vibrant. So it's just, I like the dull colors they look sick sb's stained glass mids hank i don't think i got any shoes your size yeah want to try these on yeah want to try those so see i think kids and sneakers like the smaller ones obviously did you kick himself in the head over what do we got what else we got you want to do the ones what are those? Smoke grays? Something light. Something light. They're, they're cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. They're Under 300. Yeah. What do you want to get? They're a nice shoe to like just chill. Chill. A little beater. These on the other hand. People slept on these for a very long time. Yeah. And now they're, they're up there, but still a dope shoe. Mids? Michigan mids. I won those in a raffle. I got quite a few shoes in a raffle. Him and this raffle guy, I think something's going on. No, I've been on an L streak. Yeah, I've been on an L streak the whole time. You got to play to win, but I've lost like 10. I've lost like in a row. 80. No, you have not imagine. <laughs> you lost like three. Like... No, probably like five. So fuck it. Pine greens. These are another one. You need to put the red laces in though. It's a must. Yes. At least we'll one. We'll get the red laces. Jeez. These, the sevens, these dropped recently. Green, yeah. not my style, but people like seven. I like them, it's just not my style. Fly Leather did a collab with Nike. They got, I got the Air Force Ones. Can't wear Air Force Ones, not a big fan of them. Air Maxes though, 90s, you cannot go wrong with Air Maxes, they're very comfortable. I have the red colorway and I have the blue colorway over there. But I messed up, I got a size nine, but these are a girl shoe, so these are a seven and a half. So I can't wear those. Another recent release, the Tearaway Air Force Ones. You cut the patches like this stuff right here. You pull that off and there's like colors behind it and they're all different colors. Someone will enjoy those, not me. 
Pepper Yeezys, 380s. Very weird shoe, but I don't know. I got these a long time ago. Not my style. Lights. Nothing crazy there. Off white slides. Not your size. Not my size. Lab. The Juice World collab. Got every color that came out on the recent. These are kind of kind of a rare, -er, I guess, because they sold out. I think they only made like 300 pairs of each colorway, which is very hard to believe. Who knows? It sold out pretty quick, so. I don't know if they really made 300 pairs, but that's what it said, so. I hit everyone with the help of my friend. Retro threes, hmm, not me. I gotta sell, I gotta sell some of this cause it's just too much. Some don't fit me and some I'll never wear. Those. These shattered backboards, these are a grail for sure. But I do wear these cause I got these used and it's easier for me to wear my shoes if I get them used. I do not feel as guilty. Beaters. Over here, Odd Future Vans collab. Everyone went crazy when these came out. I wasn't able to get the Lowe's. Eki SB Breads, clean. I think 2018 these came out. It's just like, they're crispy. Alvin Ones, never wore these and I will never will wear these. I'll probably be selling these because Another reason why it's like good that I'm doing this because I have a lot of shoes that I'm not going to wear and I might as well sell them while the market is how it is. To like change it out with basketballs, I think. Or... Way too loud for me. He wore them at the Super Bowl or something. I don't know. These court purple ones, too big for me, but with these laces. Paul Rodriguez SB Mids. I got these on sneakers out. Where are they? All right. Those. Jordan 5 Retro Oregons. Not a fan of these. Probably sell these too. Not a fan of these. Jordan 5 Grapes. Very bright purple. That, it's like. Yeah, it looks way different on camera. Really? Yes. Is it bright like how? Blue. They're blue on camera. Like a vibrant purple. They're really sick, but I'm not a big fives guy. I like ones. These UNC off-white ones, never worn, never will wear them. Probably sell them, because I got them when they weren't crazy money. Pure Platinum Mid Dunks. I wear these often. Can't go wrong with those. Jordan 4 Breads. Classic colorway, got a fat scuff there. Don't know what happened there, but I like I do like fours a lot. Like I said, this pair right here was the first Jordan I ever bought. Jordan for Military Blues, 2012 release, and they're like 170 bucks, and I still own them. This is literally my first Jordan I've ever bought. They're a little dusted, but not terribly, surprisingly, for when I got them. Uh, Jordan 1 mid black toes. Got these at the mall, me and Aunt copped a pair. They were in stock and the guy tried lying to us and saying they weren't in stock. So we asked the manager and he was like, yeah, we got them. It's like, yeah, we'll take two, two of those. Supreme Vans, uh, authentic classics. Um, these I got last week. No. No? Prices on these have gone crazy, like tripled. I just, because I looked up all the prices on everything, and these are, I can't believe they're that much money. But these I recently got in the last Supreme Drop, the mids, not a big fan of, but they were still in stock, so I tried, tried them and I got them. And Grubby got me these. He hit on those and he got my size, so shout out to him. And these, this is, these are a touchy subject because the photo pops up in my phone quite often on these ones. These are the Jordan 4 Black Cats. And Foot Locker had these, Champs had these, 
everywhere had them in stock you could buy however many you wanted and i had seven pairs and i sold them for under 300 dollars. it's a shame because it's like a 600 dollars shoe now <laughs> lucky green ones i don't really like hey ed you have any for him oh, kind of small. small kind of small kind of real small how are you ed good what the hell what what's happened? going on you know, little uh, eBay shoot. Oh, dude. Oh, sorry. I'll no, you're good. <laughs> no, this is for the giveaway, right? Yeah. We're oh, on the channel. Oh, opening up yeah. a shoe store. We're, uh, every five dollars you spend gets you a chance to win to all win of EJ's shoes. All. All, all or nothing. All We're gonna reimburse EJ twenty five hundred dollars. That's it. <laughs> a little light. A little. <laughs> and then you put baby in the corner. No, he's cool. He's good. He's fine. He looked he's at cool. Ant and he got excited. He was ah. like, another child. <laughs> Someone the same height as me. <laughs> you guys are damn near the same height. <laughs> nah, I'm five foot eight. Ant's five foot six. Two, two inches is two ahead. inches, right? That's right. <laughs> Every inch matters. Air Maxes, yep, very cool. Like yeah. Last but not least, my favorite shoe, most expensive shoe, is, I would have to say, the New Balances. Very slept on. Very slept on shoe. Very clean. It's got the grass stuck to it right there. It's a good shoe. But, yeah. Y'all been bugging me for a shoe tour. There's a lot to get them here. It's raining out. And uh, that's them. Now I gotta load them all into my car and unpack them. Blazers, almost forgot. Blazer beaters. Everyone needs a pair of blazers. But getting your shoot your foot into these, you gotta undo the laces down to like halfway because they don't give you a lot to put your foot in. No, I'll get my foot in there. It's hard. If you wanna try, no. you can try. Can talk about these. Jordan one mid, some bright orange. I forget the colorway. But something crazy. Vibrant orange or something. Who knows? Where's my nephew? I gotta pack all these up. RJ, you ready to help me pack some shoes? I'm gonna watch. Well, put, some off, put some off whites on Hank. We, we tried already. <laughs> he, he didn't like it. Oh, yeah. Now to put them all in my car. I don't know how these all fit in my car. You put them in your office. You got a V and I think basically a boat. No. Yeah. So cars are all loaded up. Trunks full. Precious cargo in the front. But. I know a lot of you guys probably won't understand why I'm posting this or really care to see it, but sneakers are a huge passion of mine. I love sneakers. Um, it's not really a problem because, and I don't think it's that big of a deal because people have collections that are insane. But this is, I'm happy with my little collection. Um, I want to sell a lot of them and buy shoes that I wanted for a while. And when I was younger, like I said, I, ne I didn't have like too much money to spend, like $200, $300 on a pair of shoes. That was a big deal back then. But now shoes, a lot of the shoes that I like are sub 500 around that. Being into cars, dirt bikes, PCs, shoes, it's a lot to kind of participate in all of it. But if I could do a little bit of here, a little bit of there, I'm happy with it. If I can give one piece of advice, just watch out because there is a lot of fake shoes out there so get the legit app or bring a friend that knows somewhat about sneakers because if you're buying a thousand dollar pair of shoes you want them to be correct we're coming up on the fourth of july so see what festivities we can get into but uh i'll catch you guys in the next one peace these idiots hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little out of the ordinary for me to do this but i started this channel not just for cars, but that's just what I enjoy doing. And I enjoy cars. Cars kind of sucked lately, especially not having my coupe. It's a little rough. First video was me buying my Jay-Z for my coupe. So I got all my shoes back in my room, safe and sound. I didn't put them away because save that for tomorrow. But I calculated everything and I didn't know if I wanted to show it or not, but I'll show it because I'm sure people are curious. StockX, if everything was new, 
which 80% of my shoes are, 90% of them. I'd say 90% be the figure. But StockX is taxed and yeah. Just watch when you buy sneakers and reselling shoes, it's hard now because everyone wants a lot of money for shoes. So reselling is hard now. It's not what it used to be. But yeah, I forgot to put that in and I figured I'd just share it with you guys, but, but I'll catch y'all later. Peace.